Magnetic refrigeration is a cooling technology based on the magnetocaloric effect. This technique can be used to attain extremely low temperatures, as well as the ranges used in common refrigerators. The effect was first observed by French physicist P. Weiss and Swiss physicist A. Picard in 1917. The fundamental principle was suggested by P. de B. and W. G. Uc. The first working magnetic refrigerators were constructed by several groups beginning in 1933. Magnetic refrigeration was the first method developed for cooling below about 0.3 K a temperature attainable by 3 He refrigeration, that is pumping on the 3 He vapors. The magnetocaloric effect The magnetocaloric effect MCE, from magnet and calorie, is a magneto-thermodynamic phenomenon in which a temperature change of a suitable material is caused by exposing the material to a changing magnetic field. This is also known by low-temperature physicists as adiabatic demagnetization. In that part of the refrigeration process, a decrease in the strength of an externally applied magnetic field allows the magnetic domains of a magnetocaloric material to become disoriented from the magnetic field by the agitating action of the thermal energy phonons present in the material. If the material is isolated so that no energy is allowed to re migrate into the material during this time, i.e., an adiabatic process, the temperature drops as the domains absorb the thermal energy to perform their reorientation. The randomization of the domains occurs in a similar fashion to the randomization at the Curie temperature of a ferromagnetic material, except that magnetic dipoles overcome a decreasing external magnetic field while energy remains constant, instead of magnetic domains being disrupted from internal ferromagnetism as energy is added. One of the most notable examples of the magnetocaloric effect is in the chemical element gadolinium and some of its alloys. Gadolinium's temperature increases when it enters certain magnetic fields. When it leaves the magnetic field, the temperature drops. The effect is considerably stronger for the gadolinium alloy GD5C2GE2. Praseodymium alloyed with nickel PRNI5 has such a strong magnetocaloric effect that it has allowed scientists to approach to within 1 millikelvin, 1000th one of a degree of absolute zero. Topic. Equation The magnetocaloric effect can be quantified with the equation below Delta T A D equals minus H zero H one T C T H H M T H T H D H Display style delta T underscore add equals int underscore H underscore zero carrot H underscore one big frac T C T H big underscore H big frac partial M T H partial T big underscore H D H where T is the temperature, H is the applied magnetic field, C is the heat capacity of the working magnet refrigerant, and M is the magnetization of the refrigerant. From the equation we can see that magnetocaloric effect can be enhanced by applying a large field using a magnet with a small heat capacity using a magnet with a large change in magnetization versus temperature at a constant magnetic field. Topic: <laughs> Thermodynamic cycle The cycle is performed as a refrigeration cycle that is analogous to the Carnot refrigeration cycle, but with increases and decreases in magnetic field strength instead of increases and decreases in pressure. It can be described at a starting point whereby the chosen working substance is introduced into a magnetic field, i.e., the magnetic flux density is increased. 
The working material is the refrigerant, and starts in thermal equilibrium with the refrigerated environment. Adiabatic magnetization, a magnetocaloric substance is placed in an insulated environment. The increasing external magnetic field plus H causes the magnetic dipoles of the atoms to align, thereby decreasing the material's magnetic entropy and heat capacity. Since overall energy is not lost yet and therefore total entropy is not reduced according to thermodynamic laws, the net result is that the substance is heated T plus delta tad. Isomagnetic enthalpic transfer, this added heat can then be removed Q by a fluid or gas, gaseous or liquid helium, for example. The magnetic field is held constant to prevent the dipoles from reabsorbing the heat. Once sufficiently cooled, the magnetocaloric substance and the coolant are separated. Adiabatic demagnetization, the substance is returned to another adiabatic, insulated condition so the total entropy remains constant. However, this time the magnetic field is decreased H equals zero, the thermal energy causes the magnetic moments to overcome the field, and thus the sample cools, i.e., an adiabatic temperature change. Energy and entropy transfers from thermal entropy to magnetic entropy, measuring the disorder of the magnetic dipoles. Isomagnetic entropic transfer, the magnetic field is held constant to prevent the material from reheating. The material is placed in thermal contact with the environment to be refrigerated. Because the working material is cooler than the refrigerated environment by design, heat energy migrates into the working material plus Q. Once the refrigerant and refrigerated environment are in thermal equilibrium, the cycle can restart. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applied technique The basic operating principle of an adiabatic demagnetization refrigerator ADR is the use of a strong magnetic field to control the entropy of a sample of material, often called the refrigerant. Magnetic field constrains the orientation of magnetic dipoles in the refrigerant. The stronger the magnetic field, the more aligned the dipoles are, corresponding to lower entropy and heat capacity because the material has effectively lost some of its internal degrees of freedom. If the refrigerant is kept at a constant temperature through thermal contact with a heat sink, usually liquid helium, while the magnetic field is switched on, the refrigerant must lose some energy because it is equilibrated with the heat sink. When the magnetic field is subsequently switched off, the heat capacity of the refrigerant rises again because the degrees of freedom associated with orientation of the dipoles are once again liberated, pulling their share of equipartitioned energy from the motion of the molecules, thereby lowering the overall temperature of a system with decreased energy. Since the system is now insulated when the magnetic field is switched off, the process is adiabatic, i.e., the system can no longer exchange energy with its surroundings the heat sink, and its temperature decreases below its initial value, that of the heat sink. The operation of a standard ADR proceeds roughly as follows. First, a strong magnetic field is applied to the refrigerant, forcing its various magnetic dipoles to align and putting these degrees of freedom of the refrigerant into a state of lowered entropy. The heat sink then absorbs the heat released by the refrigerant due to its loss of entropy. Thermal contact with the heat sink is then broken so that the system is insulated, and the magnetic field is switched off, increasing the heat capacity of the refrigerant, thus decreasing its temperature below the temperature of the heat sink. In practice, the magnetic field is decreased slowly in order to provide continuous cooling and keep the sample at an approximately constant low temperature. Once the field falls to zero or to some low limiting value determined by the properties of the refrigerant, the cooling power of the ADR vanishes, and heat leaks will cause the refrigerant to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Working materials The magnetocaloric effect MCE is an intrinsic property of a magnetic solid. This thermal response of a solid to the application or removal of magnetic fields is maximized when the solid is near its magnetic ordering temperature. 
Thus, the materials considered for magnetic refrigeration devices should be magnetic materials with a magnetic phase transition temperature near the temperature region of interest. For refrigerators that could be used in the home, this temperature is room temperature. The temperature change can be further increased when the order parameter of the phase transition changes strongly within the temperature range of interest. The magnitudes of the magnetic entropy and the adiabatic temperature changes are strongly dependent upon the magnetic ordering process. The magnitude is generally small in antiferromagnets, ferromagnets and spin glass systems but can be much larger for ferromagnets that undergo a magnetic phase transition. First order phase transitions are characterized by a discontinuity in the magnetization changes with temperature, resulting in a latent heat. Second order phase transitions do not have this latent heat associated with the phase transition. In the late 1990s, Pechaksi and Schneidner reported a magnetic entropy change in GD5 C2GE2 that was about 50% larger than that reported for GD metal, which had the largest known magnetic entropy change at the time. This giant magnetocaloric effect GMCE occurred at 270 K, which is lower than that of GD 294 K. Since the MCE occurs below room temperature these materials would not be suitable for refrigerators operating at room temperature. Since then other alloys have also demonstrated the giant magnetocaloric effect. These include GD5 6G1 -X, 4, Le Fexi 1 -X, 13HX and MNFEP1 XASX alloys. Gadolinium and its alloys undergo second order phase transitions that have no magnetic or thermal hysteresis. However, the use of rare earth elements makes these materials very expensive. A 2019 review article can be found in Progress in Materials Science. Current research has been used to describe alloys with a significant magnetocaloric effect in terms of a thermodynamic system. Literature says that GD5 C2GE2, for example, may be described as a thermodynamic system provided it satisfies the condition of being a quantity of matter or region in space chosen for study. Such systems have become relevant to modern research in thermodynamics because they serve as plausible materials for the creation of high-performance thermoelectric materials. Ni2 Minnesota X X equals Ga, Co, In, Al, Sb, Heusler alloys are also promising candidates for magnetic cooling applications because they have Curie temperatures near room temperature and, depending on composition, can have Martensitich phase transformations near room temperature. These materials exhibit the magnetic shape memory effect and can also be used as actuators, energy harvesting devices, and sensors. When the Martensitich transformation temperature and the Curie temperature are the same based on composition, the magnitude of the magnetic entropy change is the largest. In February 2014, GE announced the development of a functional Ni Minnesota-based magnetic refrigerator. The development of this technology is very material dependent and will likely not replace vapor compression refrigeration without significantly improved materials that are cheap, abundant, and exhibit much larger magnetocaloric effects over a larger range of temperatures. Such materials need to show significant temperature changes under a field of 2 tesla or less, so that permanent magnets can be used for the production of the magnetic field. Paramagnetic salts the original proposed refrigerant was a paramagnetic salt, such as cerium magnesium nitrate. The active magnetic dipoles in this case are those of the electron shells of the paramagnetic atoms. In a paramagnetic salt ADR, the heat sink is usually provided by a pumped 4 He about 1.2 K or 3 He about 0.3 K cryostat. An easily attainable 1T magnetic field is generally required for initial magnetization. The minimum temperature attainable is determined by the self-magnetization tendencies of the refrigerant salt, but temperatures from 1 to 100 Mk are accessible. 
Dilution refrigerators had for many years supplanted paramagnetic salt ADRs, but interest in space-based and simple-to-use lab ADRs has remained, due to the complexity and unreliability of the dilution refrigerator. Eventually paramagnetic salts become either diamagnetic or ferromagnetic, limiting the lowest temperature that can be reached using this method. Nuclear demagnetization One variant of adiabatic demagnetization that continues to find substantial research application is nuclear demagnetization refrigeration NDR. NDR follows the same principles, but in this case the cooling power arises from the magnetic dipoles of the nuclei of the refrigerant atoms, rather than their electron configurations. Since these dipoles are of much smaller magnitude, they are less prone to self-alignment and have lower intrinsic minimum fields. This allows NDR to cool the nuclear spin system to very low temperatures, often 1 micro K or below. Unfortunately, the small magnitudes of nuclear magnetic dipoles also makes them less inclined to align to external fields. Magnetic fields of three teslas or greater are often needed for the initial magnetization step of NDR. In NDR systems, the initial heat sink must sit at very low temperatures 10 to 100 MK. This precooling is often provided by the mixing chamber of a dilution refrigerator or a paramagnetic salt. Topic commercial development research and a demonstration proof of concept device in 2001 succeeded in applying commercial grade materials and permanent magnets at room temperatures to construct a magnetocaloric refrigerator on August 20, 2007. The Riso National Laboratory, Denmark, at the Technical University of Denmark, claimed to have reached a milestone in their magnetic cooling research when they reported a temperature span of 8.7 K. They hope to introduce the first commercial applications of the technology by 2010. In 2012 Cooltech demonstrated a first commercial-sized prototype which integrated rotating 0.89 T permanent magnets using gadolinium GD magnetocaloric materials prototype of 300 mm diameter and 350 mm in length with six parallel circuits producing a repeatable working span of over 30 Deg C including heat exchangers. Equally presenting a keynote at the same IIRIIF Thermic V conference in Grenoble on what was required to industrialize the technology, showing the roadmap and what was left to complete for ambient temperature systems nominally needing to cover plus 40 Deg C in reality, as of 2013 this technology had proven commercially viable only for ultra-low temperature cryogenic applications available for decades. Magnetocaloric refrigeration systems misses are composed of pumps, motors, secondary fluids, heat exchangers of different types, magnets and magnetic materials. These processes are greatly affected by irreversibilities and should be adequately considered. At year end, Cooltech Applications announced that its first TRL 7-8 commercial refrigeration equipment could enter the market in 2014 supported by two EU projects 20 million euros including supply chain to evolve a low-volume production line and industrial quality magnetocaloric materials for production of 1 kW misses units. Cooltech applications were awarded Innovation of the Year by the UK-based IET or Institute of Engineering and Technology in 2013 along with highly commended from the HVAC industry RAC Cooling awards the same year. A working bottle cooler was installed in the HQ canteen of Carrefour Evry, France for over one month selling magnetically cooled soft drinks. Cooltech Applications launched the first potentially commercial level magnetic refrigeration system on 20 June 2016. At the 2015 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, a consortium of HIA, Astronautics Corporation of America and BASF presented the first cooling appliance. 
BASF claim of their technology a 35% improvement over using compressors following the Cooltech bottle cooler demonstration. Focus was on industrial system and production, supply char and optimization to enable a low volume production for 1 kW misses heat pumps with working spans of up to 50 DEGC, including integrated heat exchangers to isolate internal pump fluids from fridge coolant. Further research into larger scale systems continued, with public declarations Atmosphere EU Barcelona and AFF Conference in Paris, France of a developments for a range of between 20 kW and 30 kW. Resulting in credible video of a 1 8 partial system producing around 4 to 6 kW. Video including some results shown at both BOTU First Chinese Mrs. Conference September 2017 and the DTU or Danish Days Mrs. Conference October 2017. Cooltech was wound up in late 2018 and assets sold in Q12019. Others have taken up the challenge to continue this industrial development. Industrial standards for MISAs A series of industrial DIN spec standards were initiated in 2016 as part of the DIN 100 Years of Innovation celebrations. DIN Foundation generously self-funded the standards FE, together with the IIRIIF Caloric Working Party who sourced the academic and industrial stakeholders from around the globe. The process was kicked off with a stakeholder roundtable in November 2026 at DIN in Berlin to successfully produce, first, terminology common misses and HVAC and R issued 2018 second, measurement of MCM materials in process of elaboration. Topic. Current and future uses Thermal and magnetic hysteresis problems remain to be solved for first-order phase transition materials that exhibit the GMCE. One potential application is in spacecraft. Vapor compression refrigeration units typically achieve performance coefficients of 60% of that of a theoretical ideal Carnot cycle, much higher than current MISTA technology. Small domestic refrigerators are, however, much less efficient. In 2014, giant anisotropic behavior of the magnetocaloric effect was found in HOMN 205 at 10 K. The anisotropy of the magnetic entropy change gives rise to a large rotating MCE, offering the possibility to build simplified, compact, and efficient magnetic cooling systems by rotating it in a constant magnetic field. In 2015, Aprea Al presented a new refrigeration concept, geothermic, which is a combination of magnetic refrigeration technology with that of low-temperature geothermal energy. To demonstrate the applicability of the geothermic technology, they developed a pilot system that consists of a 100 m deep geothermal probe. Inside the probe, water flows and is used directly as a regenerating fluid for a magnetic refrigerator operating with gadolinium. The geothermic system showed the ability to produce cold water even at 281.8 K in the presence of a heat load of 60 W. In addition, the system has shown the existence of an optimal frequency f AMRA, 0.26 Hz, for which it was possible to produce cold water at 287.9 K with a thermal load equal to 190 W with a COP of 2.20. Observing the temperature of the cold water that was obtained in the tests, the geothermic system showed a good ability to feed the cooling radiant floors and a reduced capacity for feeding the fan coil systems. Topic. History The effect was discovered first observed by a German physicist Warburg 1881, subsequently by French physicist P. Weiss and Swiss physicist A. Picard in 1917. Major advances first appeared in the late 1920s when cooling via adiabatic demagnetization was independently proposed by chemistry Nobel laureates Peter Debye in 1926 and William F. Giuk in 1927. 
It was first demonstrated experimentally by Giuk and his colleague D. P. McDougall in 1933 for cryogenic purposes when they reached 0.25 K between 1933 and 1997. Advances in MCE cooling occurred. In 1997, the first near room temperature proof of concept magnetic refrigerator was demonstrated by Carl A. Schneidner, Jr. by the Iowa State University at Ames Laboratory. This event attracted interest from scientists and companies worldwide who started developing new kinds of room temperature materials and magnetic refrigerator designs. A major breakthrough came 2002 when a group at the University of Amsterdam demonstrated the giant magnetocaloric effect in MNFE P as alloys that are based on abundant materials. Refrigerators based on the magnetocaloric effect have been demonstrated in laboratories using magnetic fields starting at 0.6 6 T up to 10 T magnetic fields above 2 T are difficult to produce with permanent magnets and are produced by a superconducting magnet 1 T is about 20,000 times the Earth's magnetic field. <laughs> Room temperature devices Recent research has focused on near-room temperature. Constructed examples of room temperature magnetic refrigerators include In one example, Professor Carl A. Schneidner Jr. unveiled a proof-of-concept magnetic refrigerator near room temperature on February 20, 1997. He also announced the discovery of the GMCE in GD5C2GE2 on June 9, 1997. Since then, hundreds of peer-reviewed articles have been written describing materials exhibiting magnetocaloric effects. Topic. See also Electrocaloric effect Thermoacoustic refrigeration Dilution refrigerator Curie's law